Hello, comrades. It's Premier River back again, looking at the city of Revergrad in all of its beauty and splendor. The neglected city of Revergrad. <laughs> but I promise we'll do some work on it one day. It just seems like there's a lot of other projects going on. Once again, I have time paused, but this time for a reason. I want to do a little bit of uh, housekeeping before we uh, before we move on to the next thing. So the housekeeping is that we now have an oil plant. And because of that, nice, do you like it? And I actually went so far as to get our uh, loading station for the fuel and where is it up here loading station for the bitumen so we are now pretty much in business i don't know if we're pumping enough oil but i do have some people coming down here from the bus stop here so you know still working on building some houses this one's still in progress need to get some steel build up yeah, just because <laughs> it seems to be the ongoing there's always something in this game that you need more of right I have a bit of an imbalance with our money, so I, I've cut down on our amount of power we're selling to NATO and increased the amount we're selling to the Soviets to try to get some more rubles. But most of that was because of buying all the mechanisms. This thing needed like 30 tons of me mechanical components. So, And then just all of this stuff needed mechanical components. So I think it, it is ticking up slowly, as you'll probably see once we start time back up. But... Now the thing is, I have delivery trucks that are going from down over there, and they're probably spread out all over the map. Oh, here comes one. All right, good. And see, the, the thing is, is their stations were, you know, kind of messed up in the sense that they were based on what they were doing from getting stuff by imports to there. So we're going to stop that, but let's start yells at you if you don't have more than one thing I think this guy can be responsible for filling up the oil trawl gas station and then oh wait actually I guess the first thing he needs to do you know we'll insert another one I don't like that it doesn't move that down like I, I tend to put them in the wrong order there so watch out for that see like in other words it's just gonna keep adding them after river grab which is sort of backwards but now let's go ahead and get rid of the rest of his. Yeah, let's get rid of. We will send him back to the Revergrad station. But now he's already full of fuel. So I think I'll just let him keep going to the oil trawl gas station there. And then let's add him to go back to here. So that's just such a short trip. And then we'll head and get him to. Go to the River Grind gas station. So now, let's see. Of course, he's doing the exact opposite of what he should be doing. He should be loading fuel. Yes, I want you to wait. Oh, I didn't need to do that, did I? Load. Yeah, so that one's right. Load and then unload. But let's just tell him fuel because I like to... And the other thing is, we don't really want them waiting at these. We want them to wait at Revergrad gas station for now. Yeah, we don't. So, like, we'll, he'll run the whole route, top up, wheel trawl, and then he'll buzz through. Let's make sure he's not. Oh, okay, take that off. Good. So that way he doesn't clog up our depot there. Because if we did it, doing it with one is fine, but if we did it with too many, they'll just jam it all up. There we go. So hopefully that works out. So there's one done. <laughs> so that should be the one. Now the other thing we should do is probably come in here. Because if we do miss one, we want to... Clear that, or did I already clear it? Yeah, don't buy any more fuel from there. Probably should empty that out, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. So now the next thing to do is look for... That should be the only other oil truck going up that way. And I think... 
Yeah, that's the only gas station there. Let me just double check to make sure. That, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's the only gas station in this whole region. Which probably isn't real good, causing them to go back. And there's this gas station. And then there's another gas station up here. So, I don't... Right, you know what we can do? Let's go to the lists. The vehicles. Really, they don't have fuel truck there. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. The oil tank. Alright, so that guy's at Oil Chaw. This is at the Quarryville gas station. Well, that's his next stop, anyway. There you are. Well, see, that's not so bad to find. Alright, so what are you doing? You're doing... Okay, well, you can keep doing that. But what I want to do is let's... Yeah, that's in Portska. So let's select this, and then... Stuff all the disorder. Oh, he's all the way down here. It's, I'd have never found him. All right, no, you don't want to go here. You want to go here and say, let's insert a stop here. And then we're going to delete this stop. And then we're going to come here and insert another stop. Wonderful. There you go. So load anything. No, don't load anything. Not that you could load anything else, but and then he should be doing the same thing where he waits at the Camion gas station to top up Quarryville, which shouldn't be using as much. Wonderful. Nine thousand dollars a load. All right. So then the last guy is near our Prishnik. Something like that. Yeah. And we want to come here and add a stop. Delete this stop. Hold on one second. And then let's just set it to there because it makes me happy. All right, good. So that wasn't so bad. Now, the next thing we need to do is we have bitumen. So we need to get some bitumen trucks. And I accidentally bought a cement truck. And I parked some of my... I was switching some vehicles around trying to speed up construction, which is one of the reasons I wanted to put that depot in down there, which I will build. Probably quietly and then forget to mention it to you guys, but... All right, so what do we want? We have an asphalt plant here. We have, a, we have three asphalt plants. And we probably just want separate trucks, even though the one's so close. Yeah, I think I just want separate trucks. I, it's, well, I probably have enough money. So what do we need? Oil tank, right? And we want the biggest. Well... There's 16 ton. Oop, save game, thank you. Yeah, I think 16 tons is a new... new king of the road. So I think what we'll do is actually do two 16s. And then let's take a look. How far away is this? Is it even... Oh, I don't need to do bitumen to this one. Okay, I'm glad I didn't buy three. <laughs> no, because this plant will get fed directly so. Right, so let me open up both of them since I'm here and then we don't have to come back immediately so this guy is going to come here oh, what did I not get the click now here we go. tell this guy to get the two men Here doesn't matter which one goes where. Can't see what I'm doing. This guy is going to come down to this plant, which we should cut off the purchase. So don't buy any more bitumen here. And then we'll send this guy to there. I'll tell him to wait. 
Fly like the wind, buddy. Fly like the wind. Close some of this stuff. Then we have to head back to here. Yeah. Um, yeah, that worked out. But it did. So this is fuel. Energy. So it actually did it in between vehicles. That doesn't make sense, but it makes more sense to me. I should make sure before, well, we're paused, right? So that guy, let's make sure I didn't, I'd like to mess that up. Yeah, load. Yeah, okay. See, it actually, well, because I did it the way I did, oh, this is right. Never mind. Yeah, load bitumen, but that's because I changed it, right? Unload. Wait. Whatever. I want to stop thinking about it. Start. Perfect. All right, so now we have bitumen. Now, the other thing to consider, by the way, is we'll probably end up wanting an asphalt plant up here. And we already have the gravel. However, what we don't have is a way of getting the gravel out of here. So it probably means we need to build like a mechanism. And if we got to build a mechanism, then we should probably ask ourselves, where's the best place to build this thing? You know, we kind of plop these buildings in and I'm learning a big lesson that if you have a lot of these connections, you're really sort of asking for it. You know, like each one of these connections is going to cause them to want to go a different route. And I really would like this to stay my main road. So what I would like to do is probably see about getting, you know, getting a, this asphalt plant and all off of this main, main route. Now, I plan on bringing the train right through here. And I'd rather not... If I want to do stuff with the train, it's probably going to be in this area. So I don't necessarily want to encroach this way. So what I'm thinking of is encroaching towards what will be the town. So we're going to end up with a town over here at some point. And that's probably good too, because then my busing and all that stuff, I might not even have to bus people. But I think that'll mean a slightly more involved conveyor system. So let's see. I think we might have made it tougher on ourselves yeah don't buy with rubles with the slope here though we could probably level it out a bit through here huh it doesn't have to be perfect let's see if we can't take just get rid of some of these trees more than anything else yeah see this this whole thing is like a bit of a ridge i think we should take down some of that so let's come over here and uh i don't know since we're going to build these buildings let's see if we can't start here even though now you know what i need to do i need to lower this oh, they won't let me lower it because of the darn power lines huh well let me lower what i can lower just so as i well you know what oh, i know what we can do let's lower from over here and see what happens not gravel Do we want large storage? There is no real benefit to a large storage. It's not like we can get a train in and out of there. We don't really want a storage at all, actually, do we? But I think storage will be fairly good for leveling. At least this will give us an idea of what level is compared to what looks like a good level for the rest of town, right? Now there's people on the Steam forums saying leveling's broken, the road thing stinks. I, I don't get it. I, I mean, I understand it's not, you know, it's not instant, but <laughs> I mean, this is fairly reasonable in my opinion. I mean, I'm leveling out, not what I would call a mountain, but I don't know. In a game, you, I'm not sure that you should be able to level out a whole mountain that easy. That seems kind of, over, you know, OP at that point. I'll take it till we hit the wires.
as we get a good path in there right here, it's, I'm not too worried about it. it. It doesn't need to be, if you look over to the right, it seems it's just more in this one area that it's, yeah, see this is, this is the only problem with building leveling sometimes. But I notice if you go slower, you can get, sometimes you can get a little closer. There we go. This isn't so bad, is it? Not exactly the world's most exciting thing either. Now, I'm probably going to cut the video at some point here because I think what I want to spend some time doing, and I certainly don't want to torture you guys watching me do this. I don't, maybe it's not torture for you, but then I'll be honest. If you don't think this is, if this is fun for you to watch, then I'm not sure what to tell you. It's weird how your perspective can be off, you know. I think we got almost enough. I just want to, like I said, I'll, I'll get a whole area flattened out for town. And then I'll, uh, but I want to get these in. And I don't really need to be in pause mode too much. But we're down to 85,000 rubles. I guess I was buying those trucks, huh? There we go. Kind of a nice flat area. So yeah, if I had thought things through... Okay, so let's not build that thing. How's that look? Yeah. Like crap. Yeah, a little bit strange, but I guess we'll come into town maybe right up here, like where it's like the road goes up, so eventually it kind of catches up with the hill. And who knows, maybe when we're off camera, I might even remove those poles. But I don't have a lot of don't have a lot of rubles left, do I? Let's just do one thing real quick here. Just see if I can't. Sometimes you can get away with taking it down a little bit more. Okay. Anyway, I think we can get a road right up there, or a conveyor and a road right up there. So keeping that in mind, let's see. Yeah, let's get the road up there first, just so that a I know it can be done. enough to get started we don't have to commit to it in any way but at least we'll know where it's at and then let's go and get let's see what our, we can do with a conveyor yeah it looks like we'll be able to take a conveyor up pretty well like into this whole area here you know well we'll see so let's see if we built We build it here just, just out of my own curiosity. Due to infrastructure below, but that almost, yeah, see, it's not liking that the whole road is there. And it certainly doesn't like, you know, let's go. We know that we can put this road in, or maybe not. Let me just try to. These power lines may need to come out even though I'm trying my best to save them. Yeah, it doesn't like that the road is right there. <sighs> but I think we could do it. Or do we just take this whole thing and forget about it? I mean, it's not like they're that expensive. We could leave it there until we build all this stuff. I think that's the thing to do because by the time, if you look at the cost of one of these, 
small aggregate storage, 19 steel, you know, some stuff. Well, by the time we build a conveyor that's <laughs> that long and this thing, we're going to spend far more than 19 steel. So I say we just, you know, let's just get, let's be very careful with this tool. Hit escape and then click that. And then we'll just have to do play minus. All right, so now let's let's start over. So what I want to do is truck aggregate unloading. Spin it around this way. And I can't put it in because of the wires. Which is okay. All right, so if we did that, that'll just make sure we don't jam this thing up with, you know, too many... Too many trucks, it just gives you more flexibility when it comes to this too, because then we can... Now the problem with this guy, if we did the large, the benefit to the large is that we could connect more to it, right? How much more does this large cost us here? It's really not... It's almost no more. Yeah, and it's definitely going to be cheaper than putting in the whole mechanical whatever. It takes up a lot of room, but just because I like to make sure conveyors are connected before I go too far. No, no advantage to doing two conveyors there. Good. Well, that lets me... See, we're going to have to have bitumen dropped off here, but it can just be dropped right off. And same thing with cement. And then I'm sure I can level this out up here enough one way or the other to put, if we ever wanted something else, I don't know what else we'd want. All right, so let's go over to... Yeah, we, no, we don't want a cement plant. We want an asphalt plant. Yeah, let's do the concrete. Oh, no, it would have to be this way. Of course, sort of like the road and the... Yeah, I'd like a road to go through this. Or do I just go, like, here? I don't want to get too close or else I won't. Let's just see what this plays out like. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure I could just drop bitumen right off here. Don't know that I've ever done it, actually. Yeah, that's... You know, not exactly what I was thinking of when I started this whole thing out, but life is often that way. Uh, you know what we could do? Yeah, now this is this is fine. I like the fact that, I mean, these both need workers and a couple, which is a bit of a pain. So if we get a road that can go you know, we'll come off of here like we were thinking. Yeah, lower that down. Come off of here, right? Yep, no problem any which way we want. And then come around here. Yeah, and one is that pretty level? Let's let's uh just level that a little bit. probably getting really close to where we're going to have the town, I have a feeling. So, just want to make sure it's nice. There we go. Yeah, and I don't mind if that... So that I'm not going to connect these again because I like to... And then we have to get a road. Yeah, and that's an important road here too. You know that? Because that's... Can I get a road through there? chance. At least it doesn't appear there's a chance. 
How about if we went... With that sort of... Uh, you know what? Let's do this. These people... This road is probably just as likely to go because, I mean, we're going to have town and farms and all. So when it comes to the building, they're probably just as likely to go that way. And it'd be nice if I could. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You buggers. You let me do it. They're going to let me level a little bit more, maybe. I go from, yeah, I don't want it to be, look at that, though. I could take that whole thing down, like, no, no I don't want to go down that much. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't care that much, but let's go, like, can I get another, no, I can't get this to turn yellow. That's fine, that's. Yeah, I don't want to have two connections, but that's 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 sort of perfect. I can kind of take this guy. Oh, I didn't really mean to connect it. Oh no, you know what? I think that'll be fine. I think, yeah, that, that'll be fine because that'll give us one little project and then like two big ones, and then we'll just break this guy in, and then we'll connect this guy in. Now the other thing I'm thinking of is. Gravel train. So let's do a very first ever thinking of train unloading aggregate platform. And let's just make sure, let's zoom in so we can see what this thing's all about. Let's see, can we start leveling? Infrastructure, fine. Doesn't have to be perfect, but let's get it not on the side of a, a mountain. Is this going to have to be? Oh, no, that's just going to work out nice. Just for the road, looking at the way this is. Uh, I don't know if I like that height. Let's stop. That thing. <laughs> All right, so let's try this again. I'm not sure that this is the best leveling tool. Yeah. The area I'm really trying to go after is like here. So I think need flat terrain. There you go. That's except it's spun around the wrong way. Nice. So we'll just push this guy here. Let's do this so that we can see. I just built it again. <laughs> I guess the, you know I do wish they would have a an actual tool for doing this. There we go. All right, now let's get it into the yellow. Let's get a little little extra area around it. Just in case. But yeah, put this guy here, and then we could connect the road up. See how that'll work out. There we go. And then, let's see, can we do... I'm intending to build, like, all electrified track. 
Yeah, we could do the same darn thing with the rail. Nice. Just make it nice and wide through here. Looks like we'll do the same thing here just to make it look nice. Yeah, we're going to have like a thing in the air. So I'm not going to build any more track but I just wanted to see how that would lay out and also show you guys well if, as you can see I mean I built these bigger open storage yards so we can get attachments and then the last thing to do before we build this road I guess let's oops, conveyor uh, what is this oh 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 that was dumb okay Let's see. Well, good. I'm glad we tried to build the conveyor. It's going in the wrong end. <laughs> All right, so let's come back. Uh, train aggregate unloading. Yeah, it's not liking. not liking the power lines being there I don't think yeah it's just not liking the power lines so that I, I mean I really want to put it like right here oh, let's do it and we're gonna do it a little cheaty first we're gonna get rid of this and then that, and then I'd like to leave my road there if we can work it out. Though I think it's going to be gone in a minute. Can't build due to infrastructure. See what I'm doing, and I think we can even. Yeah, I mean, I kind of don't like. Well, wait a minute. I don't think there's any difference, is there? Well, it certainly wants to level different. Yeah, I don't particularly want that road attached, but let's just see. I probably have to get rid of the road anyway. All right, enough fiddling. Let's see. Yeah, let's just get rid of this whole road. We know it can go up there. And then we want a conveyor. There we go. We'll just take this one to that one. And then the big question is, well, we know it can go up there until we put the conveyor in the way. But then, yeah, well, let's just see. Roads. Can I get under there? Almost looks like you want to. All right, thank you, save game. Yeah. Now, doesn't like that, but. What does that mean? This is our truck drop off and pick up. And this is a truck drop off. Um, yeah, I definitely kind of want that connected. Let's try something else just to be fun. Yeah, delete that. Delete that. And then play pause. Let's raise this back up. Not that big an area. We just need to raise up. That's lower. Let's just raise up a spot big enough that it will raise this conveyor up a bit. And I'm just going to raise this spot. So hopefully this is the right spot for for trains, aggregate unloading. Yeah, I raised up like right here. Can't build due to infrastructure. 
Yeah, see, it's raising all that up. Which isn't exactly where I wanted to raise up, but. Yeah, that's not exactly what I wanted to have happen. But is that enough? No. Not unless. No, not quite. But I think you get the idea, right? Like I think this will Try to use that demolish tool up there. But you can't do it. Well, you can just delete it, but then I delete all my conveyors. Let's do a play pause. And raise tool. It'll probably come back and bite me in the butt some other way. Oops, let me get that real quick. Sorry about that. Kind of waiting on a semi-important phone call. All right. So let's see. It's a little bit further away. The other thing I want to do now is come in here. Let's level this guy down a bit. So that that road is, is a little bit lower than higher, right? Now we're going to build our conveyor. Well, it's looking like a road belongs right under there. Please let it be. Like that. <laughs> what? Okay. We'll just we'll do it your way, machine. All right. Let's start over with that road, though. So, so that way we have it as one, one rather large construction project. And from here, there you go. Yeah, it doesn't want to level too much further, but that's fine. We don't have to build it any further. We'll worry about. There, and then we'll connect them up once the whole thing is built. So let's commit to that. And we'll come back to our conveyors and commit to them. So there we go. So we have a, a train depot. I kind of put it up in the air, which may be a problem here, but we'll have to just cross that bridge when we get to it. But at least all this stuff is off the road. When, once we get it built, we can empty this guy out into here. And we, whether we use this much, I don't know if this is a waste. We'll see. So we're going to, how often are we going to unload trucks if we have this thing? But who knows? And if we do unload trucks, they can be unloaded here. So anyway, there you go. Well, I think that kind of sucked up a whole episode pretty much. <laughs> so I think it was just a bit of a logistics episode. But hey, we got, I didn't even play time in during the whole episode, which is kind of odd. But we got our... Uh, our oil refinery working, we should have bitumen dropped off, we should have fuel dropped off, and then we can also talk about expanding the oil next episode, but I think what I want to work on, oops, geez, wrong button, what I want to work on next is getting 
the farms laid out here. So I think I'm going to go and do a fair amount of that planning off camera just so that I can do all the leveling without, you know, we just spent, what, 15 or 20 minutes kind of getting this in place. And I enjoy it. I just don't, I don't think it makes for the most exciting. I'll try not to build very much. Well, I won't build anything. And I'll try to just get the bulk of the leveling work done. And then we can come back together in the next episode and like place everything down. How's that sound? Well, good. And uh, let me let me know, guys, if you want to see me sitting there fiddling with that stuff, I don't mind. It's it's not bothering me in any way. It You know, it makes for more episodes, of course, but that's OK, too. It doesn't matter to me. I'm going to sit here and do it and enjoy it. I like making it look nice and all that stuff. So but let me know if you want me to skip over like this type of episode. I have no problem with that either. And just trying to. I can understand if you just want to see the meat and potatoes kind of thing. So, all right, great. Well, thank you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.